Hey what's up guys, Drewal here back with another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful manipulation. So let's get started. So as you guys can see here I have this image already open in Photoshop. Uh, this is my base image and this is the model image. Both images are from DeviantArt and the link is in the description. But there is a problem, this is my really old file so I don't have link for this uh, brushes and images of these bats so I'm sorry I won't be able to help that and I don't have that right now so this hair part I will have to skip it but we can do the rest and the color correction stuff and some really cool tricks so this image is already open here and download link is in the description and this is my model image so as you guys can see I have this image already uh, masked out and if you don't know how to mask this image um, why are you watching a manipulation tutorial <laughs> go and learn masking but if you are jackass like me and if you want to follow anyway there is a quick selection tool and you can use it to mask her out it should not be very difficult so so she is already here waiting for someone holding a really giant rose i don't know why so let's put her here so that looks really fine so already the composition is really good um, i scale her down from the original size and this moon here fits very well so that's that and now let's start with the color correction part so i'm gonna create a new gradient map and in the gradient map I'm gonna select the photographic toning so if you don't have this type of tones just head over here and select photographic toning and you will have all the gradients so that is that and now I have to find a gradient called sepia cyan because this is the one that I used so this already looks pretty okay like in my mind not right now so what you have to do is put this layer on hard light mode so that looks okay and then make your opacity zero and then come back till you find it okay concentrate only on her dress because that is the place where we're gonna use this gradient so her dress looks fine at like around 50 percent so that's good now right click on your gradient map and select create a clipping mask or you can directly click here so it will affect only and only the model as you can see your background is untouched but there is a problem when we apply the gradient her face is totally blown out so what you can do is select the mask grab a brush tool make sure the hardness is zero and then paint over her face so we can get rid of all that color so that looks fine just take your time and make it okay so her dress looks really nice and a bit of a spooky look that I wanted so let's go back and if you are new to this channel I have this method I use like my original file to help myself since there are so many layers so to make sure that I don't screw up any step so that is the gradient step and the hair now it is really simple method I just Cop sample this color and apply a hairbrush but I don't have that brush right now so I can't help you but uh, I promise you when I will find the links to that particular brush I will do a separate tutorial on that so that should do it so it's just a bunch of brush with the color of her hair nothing very difficult so now another step is a gradient to hide all these details like I don't want to remove that totally but just a little bit of them so for that you create a new blank layer and make sure you have selected your gradient tool and then in the gradient there is a foreground to transparent color and the foreground color is black you can change it from here if you want so once that is done you hold down your shift key and then you throw a gradient something like this which is way too much so what to do is press ctrl T and now I'm gonna scale it a bit something like that now it's super super dark and we can't see anything but you can do one thing decrease the opacity the most powerful tool which I like to use so at 50% it looks fine not as good as the original one obviously because that one took a lot of time but we are close this time so then the other step to add this glow into the moon so what you do is you create a new blank layer 
you grab your brush tool and make sure you have selected a round brush and then you make your foreground color white and make the brush big slightly smaller than the moon something like this and make sure hardness is zero and then you just click bunch of time here something like this so you have that glowing bulb and make it a little big and again and then you change the blend mode to screen so we can have better blending and then you go to zero and then come back in opacity until you find the glow satisfying so this looks okay make sure that it's not so glowing that it distracts someone so keep that in mind and after that the color balance to give the overall that spooky night feeling so to create this uh, you go back and you create a new adjustment layer for color balance and in the color balance let's start with the shadows so let's go back and see what numbers we have so it's minus 7 and plus 4 so I'm gonna go to my shadows and I'm gonna make it minus 7 and then I'm gonna make it plus 4 so we can have that bluish feeling and now the midtones so midtones are minus 27 and plus 9 so let's make it minus 27 or 28 doesn't matter and plus 9 so we can have that blue feeling overall image damn it I should just type it <laughs> so let's go back and the highlights they're minus 13 and minus 22 so as you can see here I have like yellowish color so we can have that split toning feeling so minus 13 and minus 22 so let's go to highlights minus 13 and minus 22 so as you can see here till here we are going really great and we almost nailed it so as you can see here it is a bit stronger than the original one. I don't know why I just went with the same numbers but we can do one thing uh, decrease the opacity so we can blend it better and make it more like the original one so this is going working like really nice so that's cool and after that the sharpness layer so to create that it's my favorite method you create a new blank layer and then you press ctrl alt shift and e and so it creates a jpg inside photoshop and then you go to filter other and select high pass and in the high pass uh, since it's a low resolution image don't apply too much maybe one 1 1.2 should do it so hit ok and then put this layer on soft light or hard light hard light would make it even stronger so if I zoom in you can see here it brings back those details see that works really great and after that let's go back and see the next step and that is curves so let's go to curves and see the red one okay so let's go back and create another adjustment layer of curves so where are you here so let's start with the red and I will add some bit of a magenta okay what's the opposite of red cyan color sorry a bit of a cyan nothing in green and let's go to blue so I'm gonna add some blue I'm not even looking at that anymore I'm done with that so a bit of a yellow so this is super super strong so I will have to decrease the blue a little bit so we don't overdo it and also the yellow so this looks really nice and if you think the effect is too strong for your taste you can always decrease the opacity and I think I always do that I don't know why so maybe I just like working this way or I don't know but I always have to decrease the opacity whenever I work with it so now the overall that glow feeling on her and the moon so we can pretend like show the light is coming from the moon so uh, uh, just like the last step create a new layer press ctrl alt shift e so it creates a jpg and then put it on screen blend mode so it will make it everything else like brighter everything so apply a layer mask and I'm gonna press ctrl I so it will hide everything and then I'm gonna select my brush tool and paint only over this area something like this so right now it looks ridiculous I know but don't worry about that let's go to zero and come back with like 20 25 
so as you can see here that gives that glowing that light effect and that looks pretty cool so till now we are going good and then we are like almost done this is gonna be a small tutorial compared to others so this is a normal blue layer as you can see here so I'm just gonna copy this color this is for overall toning nothing else so you create a blank layer and I'm gonna fill in this blue color if you want the code the code is let's put it here 2e 3e and 6 3 so this is the code if you are wondering and I'm gonna put in soft light so we can have that blue dark feeling and then I'm gonna go to zero and bring back maybe like 30% so that looks fine and let's go back to this layer and oops put it on soft light and decrease to maybe 30% so and after that the final step for vibrance so let's go back and apply a vibrance layer this is not necessary if you think it's colorful enough dark enough so you can skip this step or you can apply for more contrasty feeling so let's make it 100% and then decrease the opacity mm, that looks okay so we started from here and now we are here so that's pretty amazing with some tricks you can do it too and let's we have we forgot the bats didn't we yes the bats are here so let's bring in the bats so I'm just gonna throw the bats here and then put it here so where are the bats here so why can't we see that oh put it on top and so if you are wondering these are just the regular bat images that I found on Google and they used to look something like this so what I did just I applied a color overlay of black color something like this as you can see here with 100% opacity so we have only silhouettes and that gives that spooky feeling so I think we are done here and sorry I don't have those hairbrush so I can't explain that so so I hope you learned something and if you like the tutorial feel free to smash that like button or comment if you like it or if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to comment or if you are not a subscriber you can subscribe for future updates also check out this other tutorials by tutorials junction so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop